In this tip of the day, I'd like to demonstrate how you can machine a bevel using the 1CNC mill profile command. Now in this example, you can see we have a part that has a 30 degree bevel around the outside. And then we also have two counter bores. And at the very bottom of each one of these counter bores, there's also a 30 degree bevel as well. All right, so let's start with machining the bevel on the outside. We're gonna head over to the command manager, select our stock tool paths, and then mill profile. I'm gonna select our outside geometry, select the direction of cut, hit the F3 key to select the rest of the geometry, and then right hand mouse click. Now, when machining a bevel, you wanna make sure that you're using a taper tool. Set your speeds and feeds as normal. That looks good. I don't need that much of a flute length. I'm gonna change that to 375 thousandths. That looks good. Our taper angle is set to 30. And then the diameter, that 0.125, that's the little flat area at the bottom of the taper tool. That looks great, so let's click next on that. And then our clearances and depths, we set this up just as we would for any normal profile operation. We're gonna set our rapid Z plane, our plunge clearance, material Z top, and then our final Z depth, which I have set at minus 330 thousands. That looks great, so we'll click next on that. All right, here you can see there's two different distinct ways that we can perform the bevel operation. Now, of course, you can machine the bevel in one depth of cut if you want, but for this example, we're gonna take multiple depths of cut. And when doing so, you have two different styles. You have vertical and you have tool taper angle. Tool taper angle just means that for each depth of cut, the tool is gonna to reposition itself in a diagonal fashion, just like we're seeing here, okay? For vertical positioning, each depth of cut is gonna be repositioned just in a vertical move. And I'll show you when this comes in handy in just a second. Let's start with tool taper angle. That looks great, we'll click next on that. I'm using 110 thousandths for the depth of cut. That looks great, we'll click next. And then my lead in and lead out parameters look great, so I'm just gonna click finish on that. And there we go, there's our three different depth of cut, all positioning themselves in a diagonal fashion to machine the bevel. Let's take a look at this in preview. Let's right on mouse click, we'll go to preview tool path. I think I'm gonna change my view to a left view here. That looks good, and let's zoom in just a little bit. So here's the first depth of cut. The tool is nice and tangent to the bevel. Let's speed it up a little bit. It's gonna go all the way around the part, just like that. And then it's gonna reposition itself diagonally down to the next depth of cut, just like that, okay? And then the last depth of cut's gonna do the same thing. Just remember that this reposition move always moves diagonal and the tool is always tangent to the geometry. Very good. All right, so that was using the tool taper angle approach or style of machining. Now let's talk about using a vertical reposition style and why that's important. I'm gonna temporarily hide this part of the geometry and let's change the view to a front view, okay? So if I zoom in a little bit, if I wanna take multiple depths of cut on this 30 degree bevel, I don't really want the tool to start out here and machine its first depth and then second depth because the tool diameter might actually interfere with this counter bore. Instead, I want each depth of cut to approach in a vertical fashion. And that's what I've done here on this very first machining operation. Let's take this into preview. Let's slow it down a little bit. You can see that because we're repositioning in a vertical fashion, this tool diameter or shank diameter is never interfering with the counterbore diameter. Very, very nice. It's just repositioning itself for each depth of cut in a vertical fashion. Let's do the same thing over here on this 30 degree bevel. We're gonna speed it up just a little bit. Here we go, straight down, first depth of cut, straight down, second depth of cut, straight down, third depth of cut, tool tangent and machines the bevel. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. A very powerful feature provided by One CNC, and that's the ability to machine bevels using the mill profile command. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.